Hello, hello! So, it's this time of the year again and everybody starts asking... So, are we close to running as a Saiga 9 again and being afraid of Killer? Nobody knows exactly, but we have a lot of information that gives us the ability to make an educated guess. First one being Twitch drops. Those drops boosted the viewer count on Twitch by a huge margin, which is basically free advertising for the game, because it was the number one on Twitch for quite a while. This, of course, brings a lot of money to BSG, so we can expect this to continue. Furthermore, we know a lot about the upcoming expansion, and also about the date of the expansion. With all the information I had available, I made this overview. First, here we have the Twitch drops, and as you can see, there is a pattern. Usually, always in December, January and June. Of course, June was only one time, but again, it's just a hint for what's to come. But if we add the wipes to this overview, we see another pattern in which June would fit perfectly. Also because BSG tested the combination of a wipe and Twitch drops in the last couple of wipes and it was a huge success. Look at the viewer counts right here. It's not hard to see where the Twitch drops and wipes were. The blue line are the channels that streamed EFT and the green ones are the viewers. As you can see, every time there was a wipe, the amount of channels went up. Every time there was Twitch drops, the amount of viewer went up. And the boost was the biggest when those two events were close together. So we can expect that for the future. And I mean, of course it makes sense, because in late game, nobody needs Twitch drops anymore. Why would you watch a channel for sorting headsets when you have a maxed out hideout, right? <laughs> But there's more. We also know from the community stream of Pestle and Nikita that the expansion is about to drop on second week of June. I mean, it's not hard confirmed, but it's a very strong indicator. And as you can see, everything points to June. That's just one thing. The only thing that doesn't fit into the picture is the 160 or 180 days wipe. Usually a wipe lasted around 200 days. But this wipe was kind of special. First, we had bitcoins, which just overloaded the economy with money. Everybody who had a bitcoin farm was rich this wipe. Everybody. Furthermore, there are just a lot of more experienced players than in earlier wipes. If you have played two free wipes before, you don't need the same amount of time to reach your preferred level or to max out your hideout. The game just goes faster now, people know what to do. So I think this could become the future, 180 days wipes. The last indicator that we have are the Twitch rivals, because they are all over and there aren't any planned in the future. If there wasn't a wipe, wouldn't they plan more? Hmm? So in the end, will there be a wipe? Only Nikita knows the answer to that and he certainly won't tell simply because imagine if he tells us yeah in two weeks is wipe who would still play the game everybody that's grinding would immediately quit i mean there's no no point in continue to grind right and the other people that have i don't know 100 200 millions and stash they would play the heaviest gear every round because basically they ha don't have anything to lose anymore so the dynamic of the game would completely shift that's why Nikita will never tell if there's a wipe coming or not. And we certainly don't know, we never know. But I personally think that there is a wipe coming and I will also prepare for that event. And of course I might get disappointed and there might be no wipe, but I'm willing to take the risk because for me I desperately need a wipe. And that's it for the video. I hope with all the information that I've shown you, you can make your own conclusion. And as always, if you found it helpful, smash the thumbs up. Tell me in the comment section what you think. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.